So it's been a while since I've talked about Agility Writer, and it happens to be a tool that I use quite a bit. I subscribe to Agility Writer. It is one of the tools in my tool set for long form content writing, along with Koala Writer and SEO Writing. I like all three tools, but I tend to lean on Agility Writer when I really want to have as much control over the document that's being created. If you're not familiar with Agility Writer, I'll go through its homepage here. This gives you a quick peek at the interface. It creates unique and high quality long form content, uses real time data and search results, does SEO optimization of that content with premium AI images. It has a smart outline builder, external links and internal linking. And then it writes in a variety of modes. It's got a one click mode that you can write in, the advanced mode, which is typically what I will write in, and that's what I'll demonstrate today. In an optimized mode, product roundups, single product reviews, YouTube to article, it'll rewrite articles and SEO optimize them, it writes in bulk mode, and then it does a variety of other things. Tons of people are using Agility Writer. It's a very popular tool. And again, it's a specialized AI writing tool for long form articles. So let's go ahead and jump right in. This is the interface. So I'm going to go to an advanced mode article. That's what we're going to be talking about today. I wrote three articles in Agility Writer using advanced mode. So when you use advanced mode, you would go in, you would put in an article title, you would put in a main keyword. And then typically what I do is I just apply smart defaults. Now, this is the one thing about Agility Writer that's great. And, you know, for some people, they may be a little confused at first on how to set articles up because there are so many things that you can do here that will determine the outcome of the article and the quality of the article. The one important thing that I want to point out is if you're ever confused in Agility Writer's interface, they have these little question marks next to the various places where you can set up your article. For example, let's say you want to set up your factual data. You have no factual data, in-depth factual data, standard factual data, and custom factual data. So what do you use? Very simply, check this out, just mouse over the question mark, and then you can read through and understand what each of those settings does for you. So the one thing to remember is when you're using Agility Writer in the beginning, you will probably use some credits just trying to figure out exactly what article recipe works best. And when I say recipe, I really mean you know, what are, what are these settings and the core settings that you're choosing? So each niche is different. Each type of article that you need for each niche is different. So when you find a really good set of core settings, just keep reusing those for your niche. Uh, but, you know, that's sort of the pros and cons of this tool. It's going to take you a while until you really find out exactly how you want to set up articles for every type of niche that you may be writing for. So in this case, you know, if you just aren't sure what to do, I would apply smart defaults. So when you click here, notice that it applies these smart defaults. In this case, you know, we're going to write in GPT-4 Turbo. That's what I would suggest. It's going to use the advanced standard article structure. And again, to understand what that is, go over the question mark. And for advanced standard, AI is going to decide the article's length and format. Main headings, again, if it's an auto mode, the system crawls the top search results, creates an outline that matches with those average article links for the SERPs. We talked about the factual data. You would input an audience. You would put input your own tone of voice. Typically, I input casual or informational. And then for a writing style, this is something that you want to look and see what those writing styles are. There's authoritative and conversational. There's a wide variety of writing styles. I highly recommend that you just take the time, read through it, and see what makes sense for your blog. Which one of these writing styles is going to align most with the topic you're writing about? In this case, I'm doing the authoritative and conversational writing style. I'm using a concise introduction. I like shorter introductions. I like shorter conclusions, so that's going to be concise. Uh, I'm not doing anything with factual data sources. You certainly can. I'm not. In this case, most of the time I don't. There is a custom instruction and knowledge section, and you'll want to read what that's about and determine whether or not you need to use that. It may take a few articles of using custom instruction and knowledge before you get, get the hang of how it affects an article. 
So the next thing that you do is you're going to put all your keywords in. Now it says it's optional. In this case, if you're using a tool like Neuron Writer, you'd go out to Neuron Writer. Obviously you go to your content query and you copy your list of visible terms. Those terms are basically these basic and extended text terms. Now you could get these out of Surfer SEO. You could get them out of Phrase. There's other optimization tools out there that you could do the same thing with. And again, you'd be dropping in your own keywords. If not, Neuron Writer takes care of that. That's an optional feature. But once you've set everything up, you would create your outline that gives you three different outlines to choose from. I highly recommend looking through all three. You want to pick the outline that most appropriately matches the search intent of the article that you're writing. So sometimes one outline is going to be better than another. Then you would go to the advanced settings. Here you would determine whether you want to have key takeaways, add styling, you know, that just bolds important terms across the entire article, entity enrichment. So this is in beta but it adds additional entities and important terms that helps Google understand what the page is about. Uh, improve readability. I always use this and we're going to look at the Hemingway scores for three articles that I created, you know, and this is in the beta version, but it's to help improve the overall readability scores. And typically what I found with a lot of AI writers, they tend to write at a very high grade level. So if we can improve the readability and maybe lower that grade level a little bit and make the articles more scannable, I think people will have a better user experience when they're on your blog. Authority links. I'm going to add those. Now, I don't have this tied to a domain because I'm just showing you this as a sample, but you know, you could also set this up so it would uh, add internal links as well. Now, this is something I really like, this negative terms section. These are terms that a lot of AI writers will put in. They're sort of like fluff terminology. When people see these terms, they tend to think that maybe, you know, this is an AI written article. So the fact that it's going to try to not put these terms in the article on purpose. That's great. I like that. This, this is a newer feature that they've added. You have image settings. You get up to three free images. They have a wide variety of styles. I've used them all. They all work well. You can set up the color, real life, natural, etc. cetera. Uh, and then you add it to your writing queue. And then it writes in the background while you go on and do other things. So what I've done is I've created three articles already, and we are going to pull them into Neuron Writer, and we're going to see what kind of SEO optimization scores we're going to get, and then we'll pull them into Hemingway and look at the readability scores. Now, I have not looked at these scores ahead of time, so I'm seeing them at the same time you are. We'll go into the View and Download Article section. The first one is uh, Article that I did on growing gorgeous dahlias and pots. My wife is a gardener and I thought, well, I'll go ahead and do this one because she's so into gardening and we've got greenhouses full of seedlings right now for the spring. So this is what you get. And this is the type of image that it created. And those are definitely dahlias. I mean, this is just an awesome image. They're in pots. It's exactly matching the search intent for the article. Now, typically dahlias might be grown in pots bigger than this, but it's still uh, a good image and very usable. Just really well done. So we've got, got the article. I'm not going to keep scrolling through it. Let's copy it. Let's take it over to Neuron Writer and see what kind of score we get from an SEO optimization standpoint. Now, let's just drop a title in here first. We'll go with an AI-generated title, Ultimate Guide to Growing Stunning Dahlias and Containers Tips for Potting Dahlia Flowers. That matches the search intent. That's pretty good. You can also AI generate your own meta description. We'll save and close that. Notice because it used some specific terms in the title, we're already at a score of 13. What we're trying to do is get close to a 72. I'm not always worried about getting a 72 or higher. I'm just trying to get close. So we'll copy it in. So here we are at a 68. And the one thing I want to point out is we're very close to a 72. 
there are probably a few things that you could do to bump this up. If we found a place to put in the term grow lights, that score will go up to a 69. Now with extended terms, it sometimes takes a couple of extended terms being used in an article to bump the score up a little bit. But we're, you know, so close at a 72. I think that's fine. Again, you can also do this with headings. There's some room here in the H2s. You might go into these H2s and see if there's a way that you could add some additional terms from the H2 and H3 headings here. So bumping it up to a 72 is probably pretty easy. Here's the one thing that I think is really important. When we look at the terms in the articles, notice there's only a few that are read. And, you know, you don't want to really overuse terms too much if you can avoid it. So Neuron Writer's done a very nice job here of avoiding that. Well, let's go into the next test article that I created. It's what are the most common mistakes first time hikers make. This is a very long tail keyword. I found it in keywords people use. That's one tool that I really like to use. And I just want to mention if I haven't already done it, I'm an affiliate for Neuron Writer. I'm an affiliate for Agility Writer. So I just wanted to let you know that. So if you do happen to use the link in the description and make a purchase of Neuron Writer or make a purchase of Agility Writer, I will get a small commission. Here we go. Avoid these top 10 hiking mistakes beginners make. I like that. We'll go with, a, with an AI generated description. Save and close. We'll go back over to Agility Writer. Let's close this article. Let's open this one and see what we get. This is another image that's really spot on, really makes it nice that you can get images like this. Now, occasionally some of them don't turn out well because for instance, like if you write an article about mountain biking and specifically about some mechanical component of mountain biking, AI is not very good with that. It tends to mess up images like that. So you'll get a bike with two front wheels, that kind of thing. This image is a little different. I'm not quite sure what this is here at the top. So, you know, you might not use this image. I don't use every single image that, that, that it produces. Again, do you use this? I'm not sure. That's up to you. You know your niche. Hopefully, you know, you have some expertise in what you're writing about. So let's copy this article. Let's go back over to Neuron Writer. Let's drop it in and see what kind of score we get. So we're at a 58. We're shooting for a 64. So again, this is good. I just never like keyword stuffing these articles. It's just not the way to go. And there's lots of things, again, that you can do with your headings, with your H2s, your H3s. This term trailhead, I'm sure, would be very easy to add in here and bump it up to a 59. So for me to go from a 58 to a 64 would be actually pretty easy to do. So you could at least get to the highest of all selected competitors. So that's the specific article about what are the most common mistakes first-time hikers make. We'll go to the next article. And I'm showing you these because I want to give you a feeling for what you can expect from Agility Writer. One article just isn't enough for me to show you how well it writes and the kind of images that it creates and how well SEO optimized they turn out. This one is interesting. Should grandparents be expected to babysit? I'm a grandparent. I do a lot of babysitting. I was sort of surprised at how many articles there were about grandparents that hate babysitting. That's not me. I really enjoy it. So we need a title. That's good. I like that title. We'll go with an AI generated description. We'll save and close. So we're set to drop the article in. We'll go to the article. Should grandparents be expected to babysit? I went with a different type of image here. I went with an illustration. I wanted to see what it would produce if I asked it for a professional type of illustration because for some articles, it's better to go with something like this. This looks good. That's that's some of the images that it produced. I like them. So let's go ahead and cl click and copy this article. Run over to Neuron Writer, drop it in, see what kind of score we get. We're at a 54. We want to try to get to a 60 if we can. Again, no real keyword stuffing here. Want to babysit, grandparents may. There's definitely some of these basic terms that were not used in the article. I'm sure I could find places to put them. And if I did, Again, each, each one of these basic terms that you add is going to bump this up a point. And then, of course, you can look at your headings. You can look at the H2s and H3s, see if any of these 
can be added to one of the H2s or the H3s and bump that score up a little bit. Typically on an H2, when you add the heading, it does bump it up one point in the score. H3s, you might have to do two H3 changes to get it to bump up one point. But even if it didn't, we're, we're just really close. I just recently did a video that talks about how I edit an AI written uh, article, so I suggest that you go check that out. I'm not a big proponent of creating an AI article and just going ahead and taking it and publishing it with no editing whatsoever. I really wanna make sure it's gonna match the search intent for the keyword that I chose. And so the only way you can do that is to edit the article yourself. And of course you wanna add your expertise as well. But now that we've got these three articles, let's go into Hemingway and see how they score out. Let's go back to the Project Home and Neuron Writer. That first article was Ardalia's Hard to Grow in Pots. So this is the article. So now that I've got the article copied, let's go ahead and bring it over into Hemingway, drop it in. This is great. Grade level eight, that's perfect. Only 20 of 178 sentences are very hard to read. That's exactly what I like to see. Let's look at the next article and see what kind of readability score we get. I'll delete this one. What are the most common mistakes first time hikers make? We'll open this up and copy it, drop it in Hemingway, and again, grade eight. Remember when we were working with Agility Writer and we were looking at creating that advanced mode article. The reason why the readability is so good is I had this checked, improve readability. I did that for all three articles. I really like the fact that this article is a grade eight. Only 22 of 209 sentences are very hard to read. So let me delete this and go grab the next article and we'll check that out. So that last article was, should grandparents be expected to babysit? So let's copy this one. It's copied, drop it in Hemingway. This is a little higher grade level, grade 11. Still good. What I get concerned about is when I start seeing grade 15, grade 16, uh, I know then that I have to simplify the article somewhat because the one thing you need to remember is when people are reading your blog, they're probably scanning the content unless there's something that's going to be like step-by-step -step instructions. So it's really vital to try to make your blog posts as readable as possible. Uh, I think that's gonna make a big difference in your user engagement metrics when you do that. It's going to lower your bounce rate. Uh, I think it's gonna lead to more affiliate sales. I think it's going to lead to more people looking at your ads uh, and getting more ad views there. All of those things turn into more money for you. So the more readable you can make articles, the better. Again, 27 of 114 sentences are very hard to read. If you're not familiar with the pricing on Agility Writer, let's just talk about that briefly. Let's go to the pricing page. So typically you're going to use about four credits per article. Now you can use more than four credits. I tend to only use four. There's a couple other things that you can do in the advanced writing mode that will take an additional credit or two. So be aware of that. It is possible to write an article that could use five to six credits, but typically it's going to be four. So you can use that as sort of your standard as you look at what level you wanna buy in at. So again, 40 credits four credits an article, you can write 10 articles. And again, you know, you spend a little bit more money to get 80 credits. And then uh, at, 80, at $88 a month, you've got 150 credits per month. A lot of this just depends on how much writing you're doing. And if this is your only tool for writing, they do have some other packages. If you've got multiple domains, maybe you've got a team of people working on a, on a blog, then of course, one of these might be a better package. They do have a coupon code uh, that you can use for 10% off. And so you can go in and look at the yearly plans as well and see which one makes sense for you. And if you just want to try it, you can try it for a dollar. That's Agility Writer. That gave you an idea of three different niches. You know, I had that sort of grandparenting lifestyle niche. I had that outdoor niche, which was that article on hiking. I had a home improvement niche, which is the gardening niche. And you can see the quality of the writing, the quality of the images, the SEO optimization scores that we were getting in Neuron Writer, and then also the readability scores in Hemingway. If you're interested in Agility Writer, links are in the video description along with links to Hemingway and links to Neuron Writer as well. Neuron Writer is available at AppSumo.com. It's a lifetime deal. If you have no SEO optimization tools, I highly recommend 
taking a look at that one and grabbing it before it goes off the lifetime deal. So that's it. I hope this has been helpful. And until next time, take care.